Hey YouTube, welcome to the Art Word Lounge with me, Amanya. Today I am reading a poem by the famous Paul Lawrence Dunbar. And this book of poems is about war poetry. So everything in here is just about what it says. It's about the war, all of the killings. So it talks about uh, the Revolutionary War, the Civil War, you know, Vietnam. I mean, God, there's so many wars in here, I can't even tell you. So many wars. Wars, wars, wars. People killing people. Wars, wars, wars. All of these wars and today, 2016, they still haven't learned that nothing comes from war. All these wars, all these wars, nothing has been accomplished except people have been dead. Disease and anger and... Anyway, my poem is um, going to be again by Lawrence Dunbar and uh, it's called Black Samson of Brandywine. That was another war. Brandywine was part of the Revolutionary War and um, it was one of the, I guess, great wins for the American side. And so it was a big part of history. And uh, this poem is, um, is about a black man, Black Samson, who uh, was a part of that war. And he was a great service to the country. You know, he killed a lot of people, you know, with his handy dandy Smythe. Smythe, which is uh, one of those weapons that it's like a farmer's weapon that like, cuts the grass, I guess, really quick, or cuts the, the, the cotton, or whatever it cuts. But anyway, that was his weapon. And uh, there's a quote here, and it says, In the fight of Brandywine, Black Samson, a giant Negro, armed with his smythe, sweeps his way through the Red Banks. So he killed a lot of people in this war, I guess. And so... Paul Lawrence Dunbar wrote about it. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to get into the poem. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for subscribing and following me on the social medias. All right, so let's get into it. And this poem is called Black Samson Barry Wine. Paul Lawrence Dunbar's Black Samson of Brandywine. Gray are the pages of record, dim are the volumes of field. Else had old Delaware told us more than her history held. Told us pride in the story, honest and noble and fine. More of the late of my hero, Black Samson of Brandywine. Sing of your chiefs and your nobles, Saxon self and Gaul. Breathe of mine ever shall join you. Highly I honor them all. Give to them of their glory, but for this noble of mine, lend him a tithe of your tribute. Black Samson of Brandywine. There is a heat of the battle. There in the stir of the fight loomed he an ebony giant. Black as the opinions of night swing his smythe like a mower over a field of grains. Needless the care of the gleaners where he had passed a main. Straight through the human, harv the human harvest, 
cutting a bloody war. Woe to you, soldier of Britain! Death is aboard his path. Flee from the sight of the reaper. Flee while the moment is thine. None may with safety withstand him, Black Samson of Brandywine. Was he a freeman or a bondman? Was he a man or a thing? What does it matter? His bravery renders him loyal a king. If he was only chattel, honor the reason may pay of the royal, the loyal black giant who fought for his country that day. Noble and bright is the story, worthy the touch of the leader, sculptor or poet shall I find it, fill of the stuff to inspire, beat it in brass and in copper, tell it in storied lines, so that the world may remember Black Samson of Brandywine. And this one, again, Paul Lawrence Dunbar, Black Samson of Brandywine. I I enjoyed this piece. Um, you know, it talks about you know him being a hero. He was this great giant hero who used the tools that he had to to kill the enemy. To I mean, were they really the enemy? I mean, I don't know. Um, but you know, that's that's what he was. That was his job. He was in the war, killing for freedom, for America, Revolutionary War, the independence, that's how it all, that's how we became America, being freed from the British. So yeah, this man did awesome work for the war, for his country. So I like the ending where Dunbar says, um, so, te so that the world may remember him, Black Samson of Brandywine. It says uh, to tell his story, to tell, don't forget, don't let it be forgotten that black people didn't help, that they didn't fight, that they didn't do things, that they weren't a part of, you know, making America what it is because they were. And so now this day, you know, you know, America's been, has grown, and now it's now, what, night, we're in the 20th century, and, uh, and this war, by the way, was on September 11th, 19, um, 1777, so that's another famous September 11th, this was the, the day that the war was won, and then, as you know, on 9-11, hmm, we were attacked too. Hmm. But anyway, it says, don't forget Samson, Black Samson of Brandywine because he did, he did amazing things. So that's just one Negro man here that it's talking about. But I feel that Dunbar is saying, let's not forget all the black people, all the black men that died in wars to build this country, to, to bring this country together. A lot of black lives, a lot of black men died. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for joining me in the Art Word Lounge. And um, don't forget to follow me on the social medias and subscribe to the channel and tell me what you think.